Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at, at uh, command line basics on the Fast Iron Series, uh, so the ICXs primarily, but this will apply to just about any product line from Brocade, so the ICXs, the uh, Fast Iron Series, um, the MLXEs, the CER, CES, so pretty much anything um, with the exception of the fiber channel switches and the uh, VDX line of products, but the vast majority, this is the, the exact same command line basics. So there is uh, three levels of command line uh, or three levels of prompt, if you will. Um, so when you first connect to a device, you're in user exec mode. Um, and so there's very little you can do from user exec mode. Then we move to privilege exec and then to global configuration mode and then sub levels of configuration mode after that. So let's have a look at how that, what that looks like. So here we are, we've just connected to the console or telneted to the device and we find ourselves in user exec mode. So you can see from the prompt, it's a greater than sign, right? So at this point, if I do a question mark, Question mark is always context um, context aware, so it shows me what's available at that level. So I can do an enable to go to enable mode. I can ping, I can trace route, I can stop my trace route, and I can do a show command. That's it. I can't reload, I can't change the configuration. There's very little I can do. So this is kind of the, the doorstep into your device, if you will. So where things get interesting is we go into enable mode, and so into enable, now, by default, I have super user access here, and so I can do anything. I can erase the configuration, I can reload the box, I can change the configuration any way I want. I can run debug commands, I can do anything from privilege exec mode. So this is, um, by default, has no password on it. As you can see, it says no password has been assigned yet. So this is a dangerous mode to leave your device in, right? If, if you just give it a, uh, an IP address and stick it on your network, anyone can gain access to that device without a password and make changes to it. Um, so you want to set a password at this level for sure. So at this point, if I do a question mark, I have many, many other commands available to me, far more than I did in user exec mode. So for example, I've got I've got reload there. Um, you know, I can I can I can run debugs. Um, I can do a write memory or, or an erase startup. I can do a lot of things here that are destructive. Um, I can, so, so you can see the hash sign shows me that I'm in privileged exec. And then from here, I can go into global config mode with a config T or configure terminal. Um, again, my prompt changes to show me that I'm in config mode. Um, and at this point, a question mark shows me many more commands, probably a hundred commands at this level, depending on the code version and the hardware. Um, so I have many other options that I can change at this point. Um, okay, so, and then there's sub-levels of this, right? So if I wanted to configure a particular interface, I could go interface E111, and then my prompt changes again to tell me that I'm in configure interface 111 mode, right? And so there is multiple sub-levels, uh, which are all context aware. So if I do a question mark here, it's only gonna show me commands that I can run at the interface level or configurations I can do at the interface level. Okay, um, so, and then from this point, uh, what else can we do? Let's see, how about short form? So um, we can, well, so when, when, when we run a question mark, uh, let's say we, we know the, the command we run to run starts with the letter S, but we don't know the full command. We can't remember. So you can always go S and then question mark, and it will show you all the available commands at that point that start with S. Um, and as you become more unique, so if I go uh, SP question mark, it shows me that I have two commands that start with SP. And once I get to a globally unique level, so uh, SPA, for example. There's no other SPAs at this point. So at this point, I can use a tab, and tab will finish that command for me. So it'll type out the rest of the command, and then I can do a question mark at that point, and it will show me what the extension is from there. My other option is to do a short form. So uh, I don't have to type out the whole word spanning tree. I could just do an SPA. So up until the point where it's unique at that level is as far as I need to go. So if I go SPA, and question mark, then I can continue on my command 802-1W, etc. So as long as it is unique at that level, um, 
then then that's good enough. So I don't have to type out all of write memory, for example. I can just type out wr mem, and it will do a write memory. So that is a, a an interesting thing too about our code versus most of the other vendors out there is that even though I'm in config mode or you know deep in config mode, doesn't matter where I am, I can do things like a show command uh, or a write memory command. So I just did a write memory from interface config mode. Um, so that would not be allowed. Most vendors you have to do a you know a do show. Um, and that also applies to our VDX, as you'd have to do a do show from that point. Um, in this case, I can do a I can do a show command f from wherever I am. I can do a write memory wherever I am. The only things I can't do from here, I can't do. Um, I couldn't do a reload from there, for example. I couldn't do a um, a telnet or a trace route or a ping from there. So there's a few things you can't do. But the ability to do a show from there is um, is great because then I can, if I'm in the middle of configuring an interface and I need to show a parameter on it or I need to show the running config to see what I've already configured, I can do that without having to exit out and then go back in and continue on my configuration. So, uh, so we talked about tab, we talked about short forms. Um, we uh, another thing we can do is let me drop back out of here if you have a command that runs more than the than the page so let's do a show interface brief for example um, that's only going to show you up to the page length here right and then it's going to give you a more so see it's telling you there, there's more here so to get to the on the next page you hit space the next line is a return and then lastly to break out of it is a control c so if i just hit enter here it will show me one line at a time so you see it's showing me one. If I hit space, it's going to show me the whole next page. So let's run that again. Um, so it's going to give me more. I hit space. It gives me the entire next page. And this one only is two pages. But uh, And lastly, I could do a control C to break me out from wherever I am. Okay, um, so we could also do a range. So let's say instead of seeing all of the ports on my device here, we just want to see a, a, a small range of them. So I could do a show interface brief. Um, and in, instead of running it and seeing all the ports, I could do uh, ethernet uh, 1 slash 1 slash 10 to uh, 1 slash 1 slash 15, for example. And it's just going to show me a subset. So the way we do a range is by using the to command, or uh, the word to. Um, some vendors use a hyphen there uh, or in a different way to build a range. Our range is always done with the word to to, to show the beginning and end. Um, you can, uh, if you're in config mode, so let's say I'm in back in 111. So um, if I just want to drop back one level here, I could do an exit and it drops me back a single level. Uh, I could do a quit. So if I type the word quit, no matter where I am, it drops me back out into uh, into user exec mode. Or uh, let me go back in here. Uh, if I do a control Z from this point, then it drops me back out into uh, privilege exec prompt. So all of those are available to you. Um, and uh, lastly, uh, to remove something that's already configured, we use the no version. So uh, if I do a show run here, uh, let's see. Let me create a VLAN real quick. So we'll say VLAN 10, uh, untag, oops, untag E111. Okay, so if I look at my running config, I now have my VLAN in there. So if I wanted to remove that, we just use a no version of that. So uh, we could just do a no VLAN 10, and it will remove the VLAN and, and the sub commands within it. So my VLAN is now gone. Um, OK, so I think that's all I wanted to cover. So those are the basics of how our command line works. Um, we have our three different levels user, privilege exec, config mode, and then the subsections of or, or sub levels of config mode, if you will. Um, you can use short forms. The question mark is always your friend. Question mark will show you what's available at each level. 
the tab will complete your commands um, under under more so for a multi uh, page command you can use space for next page enter for a single line control C to break out use no to remove things uh, for a range you use the word two um, and then to drop back different levels you can use exit to go back levels you can use quit to drop you back out into user exec mode or control Z will drop you back out into the privilege exec prompt okay so that's all I wanted to cover. Thanks for joining and have a great day.